Hello, I'm James. Everyone, today I'm going to talk about how to create business document in P, such as quotation, invoice, tag invoice, and receipts, and also how to edit and cancel the document, change the theme color, and edit the form. So let's get started with the quotations. You can go to the revenue menu, then choose quotation and click create. The first box that we're gonna fill is refer. If you wanna refer any other document number to this quotation, you can fill in this box. But if not, you can skip this box. And the next box is document number, which will be default based on your document setting. Next, the customer information. Firstly, it's choosing your customer, then choosing the issue dates. The system will do for the calendar days, but if you wanted to issue a backdate quotation, just choose the date that you want in the calendar. And the next box is wallet until. In P, you can specify the credit term of your document. If you don't specify the date in this box, you can also set them in the at one in the setting menu. Then for the X-ray and telephone number, the system will automatically show based on the customer information that you create at the first time. For pricing and tax system, the first box is pricing type. You can shoot whether the pie is accruing what, including what, or none. And this box is related to the pie per quantity. For example, if the pie per quantity is accruing what, you will shoot the pricing type to be accruing what as well. The second is currency, and the, and the default currency is Thai bar. But you can also shoot other foreign currency by clicking the box, and you will see the drop down list of other currencies. Next, let's talk about the business item. You can start with the type of your product and service. Then you can click the box and see the drop down list or search by using the product code or product name. And the system will automatically show its account code and descriptions. However, for the description, you can modify or delay it in its box. Then in the quantity box, you can click and plus and minus sign or type the number in the box. Next is typing the number in the Piper quantity box. And for the discount per quantity, you can use the amount of Thai bar or percentage. Next, you can shoot the what rate to be non-zero percent or seven percent. After that, is the P white amount box that the system automatically calculate for you. Then you can also shoot the withholding tax rate if there is withholding tax for that item. In addition, you can click the below to add new item if there are more than one type of product for the sale time section. Also, you can click add new note in case you wanted to make additional description for the item. And when you wanted to delete any item, just click the call sign on the right side. Then don't forget to look at the summary part for checking the accuracy of all detail for the time section. The next below is remark for customer. You can type any additional information for the specific type of document that you wanted to inform your customer. Also, the system can defer that information based on your system for this kind of document. And in case there is a related file for the time section, you can attack the file in the part of attack file to document. If everything is done, click approve quotation and anywhere in its drop down list, you can shoot approve and print, approve and create new quotations or send the approval of these quotations. Moreover, if you're not sure of any detail for this quotation, click save draft and the system just saving the draft. So, but not yet recording any accounting entry. Next, let's talk about this three icon as above. The first one is in the blue icon for sending the document in peak by email to your customer. Just only click send email. It's very easy, right? Then you will see the window pop up. After that, fill in the receiver email and also you can modify the subject via whom of the message below and also can attach additional file for these quotations and the additional attack file for these quotations will be saved in the program as well then click send. Next, the red icon is for printing the document in peak and also there are additional options for printing that you will see in the drop down list and just choosing the type of printing that you want. 
Next, the purple icons is about any options. And let's talk about each one of them in the drop down list. The first one is edit. That will help you to edit all the detail of the document. The second is copy. It will copy all detail of this document and help you to create a new one and with the new document number and also with all the same detail of the copy document. For the two remaining, it uses when you want to void the document or lock the document that you don't want anyone to edit or void your document. Next part, if your customer already accepted the quotation, don't forget to update the status by clicking Accepted and selecting the day that your customer accepted your quotation. Then let's talk about invoice. Firstly, you click Add Invoice. The system will automatically show the information based on the previous quotation that you created. For the refer box, it will show the quotation number. Then we will take a look at the business item. Originally, the information in this section will show based on the quotations. However, you can click Add delays or edit the business item since the system didn't record any accounting entry yet for the quotation step. And don't forget to recheck the information in the document summary part such as net total before the approval of the invoice. If you don't want this invoice to be the tag invoice in the same document, you can click issue tag invoice to close the blue bar. In PIG, you can create three types of tag invoices. The first one is invoice and tax invoice are the same document. Second, the tag invoice and the receipt are the same document. And the third one is creating a tag invoice separately from the other document. And now I'm going to generate invoice and tag invoice in the same document. So I click approve invoice. Then click save job. The system will automatically record the accounting entry for the journal number. This is the number of the accounting entry recorded. And you can click at the number to see the accounting transactions such as debit and credit. And also, if you wanted to print the accounting entry, you can click the printer picture near the journal number. Next, let's talk about creating receipt. If you already send the invoice to your customer and also receive the payment from your customer, you can click payment and click paid. Then select the payment date. You can shoot the payment record in basics or at one. If you shoot an at one payment record, you can use additional function of fee and adjustment. For basic payment record, you can select the payment receipts method and identify the payment amount. In peak, you can record the actual amount of the receipt, no matter it's not the total amount of invoice, then click issue payment. After that, you will see the outstanding balance waiting for additional payment. And when you receive the additional payment, you can click pay to record the remaining balance. If all the amount was paid, the system will show that the invoice is fully paid. For the issuance of the invoice, if there are two payments for one invoice, you can issue the receipt separately by clicking Issue Receive for each payment transaction. In case your customer want all payment in the same invoice, you can click Create Combine Receive. And the system will show full amount payment in one receipt. Then please recheck the correctness of the information. If you're OK with this, click Approve Receive. For the receipt, you cannot edit the transaction like you edited the quotation or invoice before. Since the accounting entry were already recorded according to the invoice and the payment information, then please take a look at the stated bar of each step above, and you will see that all the steps are completed. For the two time payment, you can see that there are the number two in the bar of the payment step. In this transaction, I generated the invoice and tag invoice are the same document. But if you wanted to generate the tag invoice, which is not the full form, the document will be the receipt and the tag invoice are the same document. And next, let's talk about edit the document. If you click edit at the upper right that you can edit to change the color theme, language to be Thai or English, or edit not to show logo, heading of your document. And also you can click custom to edit the heading document as you want and click save. In addition, if you wanted to edit any parts of the document, you can click the pencil symbol to edit the part. 
Don't forget to click save every time of your edit. After you finish your edit, you can click save at the upper right and you can choose to save this format only for this document or this format will be the default format for every document. And if you want to, to save at default, then click confirm. However, if you already had your own document format and still continue to use your format, you can send the format to P customer support. The customer support will access the ply for creating your own format in Peak and create it for you. You also can copy the link of this document for your customer. Just click copy link and can send this link to your customer via line or by email. When your customer click the link, they can see the document, which is the same format as you create and click print as staff or PDF. Moreover, you can go to the setting and set the password for your document access in the document setting by choosing public link, then click edit and go to the password to open document and click active, then click save. The system will automatically generate the password for each document. And that's it for creating business document in Peak for PC via browser. And thank everyone for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next video. Friend of business.